Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 32 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. From this video, I will start working with the API and fetching the data in the layouts with the help of uh, API uh, with the help of React.js and uh, with the help of uh, Django REST framework. Okay, and uh, recently we have uh, almost finished our uh, layouts. If we need anything change, then we will change in our way and uh, <clears throat> from now we will uh, start working with the dynamic data right so before starting the dynamic data let's see how we will show the data in the templates okay so i will start on the all products sections right i will start uh, fetching the data for all products then we will go somewhere else or do something else right so here is the all product page and uh, I have opened this all product page. Now suppose we have some demo data. Okay. So in the all product uh, function here we have let's create the demo data. So this will be list and in the list we have objects right and suppose objects have a title title you can say uh, uh, let's say title is uh, uh, let's say Python right and then we have uh, another object okay and let's say this is uh, Django right now another object let's say this is flask right now we need to implement this title in every single product so we have already created this single product component now we need to pass the parent data into the child right I have already explained this parent child thing when I have created this single product so you have to browse the playlist and you I'm sure you will find that so I will just remove all the things because I'm going to iterate this so now how we can do please see the syntax carefully so this curly braces start and then for the products dot map so map will help to iterate the data okay and then we have a function and then we will return here right so I'm just uh, I'm just starting with the basic things right so now here we will pass the data so data we will name it in uh, product and the second will be the index so whatever you want if you need index then you can pass and this product means this is single object right so now here we will pass the title so let's pass the title here title right so if we see okay so products so we need to define as a concept right so if we see here you can see that python django flask it's totally defined and totally you can see that everything is working perfectly okay now suppose we have a price also okay so let's say price is uh, 100 all right and then we have uh, another price then another price let's say 150 let's say 200 okay now suppose we have a lots of uh, attributes in the single object so it is difficult to pass every attribute as a like this way okay so what we will do we will say product and here we will pass the product total object okay and in the single product here we have a in the single product what we will do we will de we will default it will pass the props props means properties okay so props what we will do here props dot it means product dot title and here we will say props dot price right and uh, it's not props <coughs> props dot product dot title okay the uh, property name we will see here right so here you can see that python the title is coming the price is coming and everything is dynamic okay so this is just for demo data now we need to fetch the data from the database okay so if you have seen the starting videos i mean uh, i think of uh, uh, 1 to 12 or 13 i have created some apis okay so if not then please see those videos and then you can come here and then you can uh, check that okay so now our <coughs> next task is to fetch the data from the with the help of Django REST framework. Okay, so let's start first of all. Let's start our 
let's start our API okay so I will go here and then I will first of all I will activate the virtual environment okay so this is my backend API and then I will start the server because your server should be in running if you are working with the server right so now server is running okay so if I go if I go 127 API so here is a detail API and uh, let's open a backend main URLs okay let's see what we have so it's a products so API slash products <clears throat> okay we need to authentication so let's say admin admin and the password is okay so it is showing all the things product list and here we are uh, uh, it is showing the products okay but uh, without authentication you can't fetch the products okay so uh, because I'm using the simple session uh, uh, thing so that it will work okay later we will uh, every time we will send a token token based thing we will see and then we will define those things okay but currently our main focus is to fetch the data from the server okay uh, I will explain you with the authentication from the react JS and in, in different video right so you just need to understand that how we will fetch the data from the server to our react JS okay so we have set up uh, everything that we need now we just need to fetch the data so javascript provides us fetch api okay so here you can see that uh, mozilla uh, gives us you know very helpful documentation so you can see that and we just need to fetch the data so what we will do i will copy this okay i will copy this and then <coughs> i will paste here okay and then what I will do fetch and then we have to define the URL okay so I will copy this and paste it here and if we if we go in the browser if we see in the browser in the console not in the console we have to go in the network okay for, okay here you can see that this is saying authentication credentials were not provided okay because uh, it should uh, we should we uh, we can only fetch the data if authentication is provided so what i will do let's let's ignore the authentication or let's uh, remove the authentication i'll go to backend api settings and uh, where is that uh, here yes this is now let's see here so what it is saying now here you can see that so result is coming here you can see that result is coming next uh, and everything is coming actually why this is showing like this all right so result is here you can see that okay i have just removed the authentication class but we will add here it is definitely this is a very important thing but just for understanding just i am removing the middleware thing because i just want to you know explain that how we can fetch the data in the react from the server okay so here we have a data now we need to pass this data to our uh, to the uh, you know HTML element right so what we need to do here we will use import use import use state sorry use state use effect from react okay so whenever use state means data 
whenever we change the data whenever we done something then this use effect will automatically change if we pass our data in the use effect hook this is known as hooks okay if you are working with a functional component then you have to use hooks if you are working with the uh, uh, class components then you will use the life cycle uh, hooks right so first of all what we will do here let's uh, use use state uh, not here we will say constant product products set products equal to use state and this will be our empty array right so this is products and this is set products right not user state it's a use state right <coughs> now <coughs> in this function what we will do set products set products data right set products data now we can we can use this product we can use this products right uh, do we have any data yes we have but what we need to do data dot results data dot results why this is not showing uh, let me check this uh, data dot results okay so here we are yes we have data dot results so if we products uh, set products yes set products okay set products uh, data dot results right so let's see let's see here products dot map all right let me see this okay so i understood that that why the data is not coming even we have defined everything so uh, one more thing the use effect we will use here the first of all we will define the use effect then in the use effect we will use the fetch function and the more common thing is let's say function fetch data base url base url okay and then we will do here okay and then we will run this function here okay so this will be our base url paste here copy this paste here right so fetch data right now this is not coming here because of the browser cross origin policy now what is the cross origin cross origin means our origin of uh, current website is uh, local host 300 3000 sorry but the server the server origin is 127 point whatever it is so we have to allow the server to uh, sh uh, allow this allow this uh, request to uh, send the data so what we will do so first of all we have to install the app uh, we have to install the third party package install django course header right and then we will add in the settings.py file here right and then before the common middleware they are explaining everything that how you can use and then you have to allow the origin that which origin you want to allow so i am going to allow this particular one okay if you want to allow everything then you can just put star remove this and put star in the brackets then it will allow all okay so they are defining everything so you can see here cross origin 
course uh, uh, allow all origins right so you can put here whatever you want right so please see the documentation so you will understand everything okay now <clears throat> when we go here right and if we fetch then you can see here whatever the data we have it is showing here right so now it is showing the data but the thing is in the single product we have h4 let's make it h5 okay so this is uh, cool this is nice right so you can see that fetching data is a uh, not very you know difficult task if you have set up the things uh, properly then it is not very difficult task okay but the most important two things we need to uh, uh, um, we need to remember here first is use a state in which our data will uh, our data will uh, you know our data this state will contain our data right so and the second one is use effect use effect means whatever the rendering before the rendering this will this function this hook will call okay so before rendering i am calling this fetch data okay before rendering you can say whenever we update the render okay so this with this hook will uh, work okay so uh, at the time of rendering or before rendering we are fetching the data right and then uh, this function in this function we are setting the data here you can see that set products so with this uh, with this uh, variable or constant we are setting the uh, we are setting our result right so i hope you understand all the things if you have any query any doubt then please ask me here and also please do some self study about the hooks about the react js you i'm sure you will understand okay and uh, i'm trying to explain you everything whatever i can do with the project example here you can see that everything is working maybe uh, sometime my words or uh, my language is not very comfortable for you to understand the things but you can see the result here okay it means everything is working we need to just understand the concept okay so thank you so much for watching the video please uh, like this video share this video with your friends who are learning react js and uh, django and uh, thank you so much if you are new to this channel then please subscribe okay and uh, help me and support me and you can also download django projects from projectsplaza.com this is the website where i'm uploading the projects okay you can see this is a uh, you know practice projects you can say okay so but uh, i have given my full efforts so you can see that okay so this is also very uh, big support for me if you purchase anything from here okay and uh, you can also follow me on instagram and facebook and thank you so much let's meet in the next video thank you